Hi there, uh, welcome to another video looking at using my Stream Deck and Axes and O's. Um, with returning to the G1000, the Garmin unit, uh, there's been an update. I don't know how long it's been there, um, but I've just, just found it myself on Lorbit's Axes and O's sites, which allows me a whole much easier approach to uh, programming the soft keys that uh, are at the bottom. Um, previously, I bring my stream deck profile. I had a, a, a profile here um, for the PFD, so clicking on there took me to another profile. And to get the text consistent, I wanted the text to, to appear on the um, on the buttons at the bottom. Um, I had to create a whole uh, series of interlinked profiles. Uh, couldn't use folders, you had to use uh, profiles to do it. And it was really complicated even worse for the mfd side of things but this uh, latest development that's come f uh, that i've discovered on um lorby's site let's get into back into the right aircraft here we go uh, just makes things so much simpler if, if i show you let's uh, get that out of the way um Lots of windows today. Yeah, lots of lots of stuff going on. Uh, on the da uh, the axes and O's page on the downloads uh, page, a long way down, discovered this one here called the MFS G one one thousand bridge, and it says with this add-on package you can read the soft key labels, um, and they present them as L bars. So that's really useful to us. I'll show you how it works. Um, it looks looks more complicated than it is but uh, the download procedure you, you download a zip file um, so I've saved it in my stream deck I've got a folder called stream deck and I put my software here says so my G1000 bridge there's the zip file extract it all and it goes into another folder don't use this folder that's the, the gotcha on this one uh, double click on there and you'll find you're into another folder identically named and that's the one that's got all the content so that's what you want to copy and paste it into your community folder now i've actually got a shortcut on my desktop which takes me into my packages there's my community folder and just drop it into there and that's it nothing else to do to install it that's the process so uh let's get rid of a few windows here We'll leave this later. Then run your flight simulator. My simulator is already running just for speed, so you don't you don't have to watch it loading. Um, and that's it. That that's the process. So now we need our Stream Deck software. So what it allows us to do is to uh, not don't have to use profiles. We can use a, an actual folder. So we'll create a folder here. And. If I press the button on my stream deck, that'll take us into that folder because that's the way back now. It takes us back wherever we came from. So this is really nice and easy. We need to use a text gauge. We want to put text onto our button here. So we're not going to use a title. What we're going to do is to read a variable um, and it will read whatever's on this button here. Now it's not going to look dramatic on the first one because if I do button number one here, there isn't any text on it at the moment. But I'll show you the process. Um, so what we need to do is to put in this here. Now we're going to replace the XXX, sorry, this one here. We're going to replace the XXX with PFD for the left-hand device. If you wanted to do the right-hand one, you would replace it with MFD. So um, let's copy that in. So highlight that and copy. And I should now be able to paste that into here. So that needs to be replaced with the PFD and we need to tell it which button it is. It's button number one that we're looking at. And you'll notice that it is an LVAR, a local variable. So we change this to an LVAR. And as I said, if I now save this, absolutely nothing dramatic happens because there isn't any text. So let's copy that and paste it into here and we now need to set it we're looking at number two soft key number two and I'll use my shortcut the alt 
S to do that and uh, so we've saved that with the shortcut and there it is it's picked up the text from there so as that text changes that'll work we want these buttons to actually you know these buttons on the stream that actually function as buttons so that's where we use the button settings here um, we need axes and O's really to give us that so I'm going to pick it up from my script editor and insert an event so I'm going to filter down for the 1000 the PFD side <clears throat> now I had problems getting this to work before and so I resorted to using uh, if you've seen a previous video that I used, did I resorted to using an H event and the HTML event but I think I've discovered the way around this one so I'm going to use this uh, soft key one right hand click on it to copy it to the clipboard and paste it in here and it doesn't work because it needs to be writing to be a bvar there's no clue here and uh, you don't get much of a clue it looks like it's supposed to be a k event but it seems to work as a b variable you need to tell it that you're going to send a value one when you press the button so i can save that now alt and s but again nothing's going to happen because there is no function on this button so let's go and put it into here so we will put the button settings in I've still got it on my clipboard so I can control V and stick it in there it's soft key number two we're emulating it's a B variable and I need to send the event value one to it and save that let's tidy up get some things out of the way and I'm going to be pressing that map HSI button on my uh, stream deck and you'll see that it's taken us across now to the new um, layer here and that's matching there now I haven't got the other buttons programmed in so I'm gonna to have to use the soft key on here to take me back but again if I bring my stream deck back in you'll see that we're back here at that section there so to fill in the rest of the buttons the easiest way to do that copy it and we'll just paste it along so I'm using keyboard shortcuts um, control V and then right arrow so I've got to get six in here and then we go along here and of course now we need to go in and ed edit them um, I'll do the couple then I'll pause and you so you don't have to watch everything um, so it's just a question of changing all the twos to threes so you need it there and on the button because we're going to be sending button three alt and s to save it job done on that one i'll do one more for you then i'll pause it so variable one that's now four You've got to keep track of the numbers and button setting number four Alt S saved and that's done. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video, do all these for completeness, and I'll bring you back in in a minute. Okay, so as if by magic, um there we are. We I'm back here and you can see the text is all matching up on here. Um if I press the uh any button here, let's go into the transponder. I'm gonna press the transponder button takes us into the transponder if I press on code here you can see everything is working let's put in um, one two three four one two three four that's taken the code in no it hasn't let's go that again there we go we've put in four numbers it's happy now and it automatically takes us back exactly where we should be press the back button i've got a lot of uh, software running on my machine today so it's a bit slow responding but they are back at the main thing so that's it that's the profile um the next thing we can do is if we go back up a level let's give this a title so it's clearly the uh, pfd 
we can now copy that paste it in here change the title to MFD oops wrong one let's go back I like in capitals as well that's better um, this one here MFD and if we go into that folder it's going to be reading the PFD side of things until we go in and change the P to an M so we want an M there and we also want it to function as an MFD button so on the button settings we change that to an M and that's all we need to do that's now reading that button there the engine and we do that same for the same for all of these we just go through and we just change the p to the m in the variable and in the button settings so it's a bit laborious but it's not that taxing and you've got a fantastically fully working system um obviously this one's blank so that's blank and if we click on here let's do the last one here just to, to show you it working there's the MFD on there and change it on the button settings alt s to add it and that's it that's done so you do the same for all the buttons here what I would do I would also and I'll, I'll do this in the next video and show you how this works I think it's enough for today um, I will put the um, these buttons here emulate those buttons both for the PFD and the MFD put those on here and show you a few other things that we can do with that but the next video what I'll be showing you is how we can use a gauge to get these indicators to appear um, whether uh, or, or not appear you don't need them for all of them but he'll show you how you get those to work and so I'll do that video possibly tomorrow um, okay so have a nice time and uh, I'll see you in the next one I've got to uh, shoot off to the shops now we're out of food okay see you soon